All right, everyone. Uh, all right, hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. In the last episode, we finished off the second world, and in this episode, we're starting off the third island, Bright Savannah. So let's get on into it with Grassland Groove. Alright, let's get going. Uh, one thing you're gonna see throughout this island are these grass patches. Uh, just like the leaves in Autumn Heights, or, yeah, Autumn Heights. You're gonna wanna get into the habit of, um, rolling through those, because those are gonna hide a lot of your, um, special stuff. Oh, but man, can I say, for, like, all the worlds in the game, I think this one has, like, the best first island, or first island, first level to show it off. Like, Autumn Heights had a great one, and, um, and the first island had a great one, but I feel like this is, like, a really good, um, first level to really get you into the mood of, um, whatever, get in the mood of the island. Like, you just see it's, like, so all this music and, like, how bopping everything is. It's a really great way to start things off, in my opinion. So, we got our first... Yeah, puzzle piece there. Oh, oops. Oh, wait, no. Just roll right here. To get to the K up here. So, yeah, you see, like I said, you really want to get into the habit of rolling into the grass when it's um, safe. Because, you know, sometimes they'll do this where, like, they'll put it in, like, really inopportune locations where you can accidentally just roll yourself off. Come down here and roll over the grass, pull this up to get another puzzle piece. Alright, but I must say it's great to be back on um, recording the game because it's, ac it's actually been a few days since I um, did the recording session for um, World 2 because I ended up so, what I normally used was, um, this earbud, so, an earbud that I kind of just randomly found. Uh, like, no one claimed it, and it was actually just, like, it was an Apple EarPod, or AirBud, I guess they call it, but it was, like, a singular one as well. And so, like, no one, um, claimed it, so I was able to keep it. And so, that's what I used to record, because, um, it had the advantage of, uh, me being able to have something in one ear- So, like, when I record, I wear headphones, or the earbud originally, because, um, I wanted to hear the in-game audio, but I also needed just one in my ear, because it's- You know, it sounds weird when, like, you have yourself muffled like that, with your voice muffled, because, you know, you can't hear that well past the ear earbuds. So, that's what I did. And it worked great, but for some reason, I can't find it anymore. I mean, I guess, luckily, I didn't pay anything for it, like people normally do. So, it's not much of a loss, but it was kind of annoying. So, I ended up finding these, like, old, um, headphones that I have, but, like, they're actually, like, they're actually broken. As in, um, I can't really... As in, you know, like, when you have, like, your headphones that are, like, really broken, and so they have to, like, be in a certain arrangement, so that way they'll actually work. They're basically like that, like, they can't work unless I, like, rotate it a bit to get in the right position. So, I mean, so that's what I'm using now. But it's still a shame that I couldn't find those, um, earbuds again. But let's see, come over here to get the end. And then you want to roll into this one to bring up this giraffe, which is noticeably higher. But this one has the advantage of having the hidden barrel in it. Oh, but speaking of Apple AirPods, um... I was at my, um, college's, like, store. And they have, like, a text section of it. And I saw the most ridiculous sale ad ever. So, apparently, like, the normal retail price for, um, Apple AirPods, or at least the earliest model of them, is currently $159, $159. And so, that's what the store would price it at. And apparently, 
my university store was having a sale for them. Which, you know, okay, that's pretty good. They must be trying to clean up stock before the, um, AirPods 2 or whatever we're on right now. But here's the thing, the sale was, so normally they're priced at 159 and the sale was for a limited, you know, they say like, you know, get it while supplies last. And no joke, the sale was, instead of $159, you could get the AirPods for $149. Like, seriously? That is such a horrible deal. I mean, I guess technically it's a good deal because it's technically $10 cheaper, but like, if you're able to spend $159 on... AirPods, I don't think losing that 10 is that terrible. Like, I thought the point of a sale was, you know, to attract people, you know, who weren't as convinced to buy it. $10 off, especially something that expensive, is not going to convince people. I mean, I'm sure it will, because, you know, s people have that much money to waste away, but still. My god, that was like, s I practically laughed at, I practically laughed at how bad that sale was, like, that, how many people is that actually going to attract only knocking off $10 from the price, from the market price or whatever? I mean, you know, like I said, people people definitely have that much money to waste away on stuff like that. I mean, I guess if it's something you really want, you'll buy it, but like... Considering how you could get a decent enough pair of headphones for just $10... That's definitely not something that I see as necessary of a purchase. I mean, I guess I'm talking as someone who buys video games, but you know what? Video games are fun, okay? I plus they keep my sanity as close as possible to reality. Oh, man. You see, this is what I get for insulting AirPods, I guess. As you can probably guess, I'm definitely not sponsored by Apple, and probably will not earn that sponsorship anytime soon. But at the same time, I also don't care. I messed up again. Oh gee, we're really out to a great start for the world, aren't we? Uh, well, it's a good thing that um, I already got all the puzzle pieces. I'd much rather keep on dying, well, I wouldn't really, but I'd much rather keep on dying than to constantly be missing puzzle, puzzle pieces. In terms of, uh, hmm, actually no, I'm not going to talk about that yet. I was about to talk about my ranking of this world relative to the other ones we've been to so far. But, um, I, it obviously would make a lot more sense for me to just save that for the very end of the world. But, when I was, but like I said, this is a really great way to start off the world. Like, it really captures the energy of, uh... Okay, this place is pretty unapologetically Africa. Actually, I'm gonna be quiet for this section. I like that special ending that they added there. And let's get the... There we go. Sorry if you can hear me waggling my Switch controllers really hard, but, you know, that's the point of it, you know, really get in the mood of it all. But, alright, let's head off to the second level, ba Baobab Bonanza. Let me see, which world is- which one is this? Oh, okay, I remember this one, actually. It's, this was a pretty fun one as well. There we go. Uh, let's see here. Oh, yeah, so for those flowers back there that I was just standing on, as you probably saw, when I was getting- when I was hanging on the edge of the flowers range, they were starting to, um, shake. Uh, you want to keep that in mind because if they stay like that for too long, the petals will actually give way, and you'll just fall down. So you want to keep that in mind as you're, um, trying to lean with them. 
But get all those pu all the bananas to rather to get the puzzle piece. Uh, yeah, I kind of needed them right there. Uh, let me see if I could do a roll jump. No. Uh, let me see if I could get them to respawn if I go off screen. Otherwise, I have to kill myself. Okay. We are off screen. And please be back. Yep, there we go. I kind of forgot why he was there for a moment. But, come down here to not get a puzzle piece. Yeah, actually, I knew it wasn't there. Like I said, got my notes. Uh... Okay, that's not good. Because, actually, I needed to um pull up on this beforehand. Now, let me see if I can off-screen him, and now... <sighs> Whatever. Uh, please be back. There we go. Come on over. It's time for you to face your destiny as my item. Uh, okay. I kind of forgot for a second how to get over there, but then I, cause I completely forgot that the flowers can tell. Oh gosh. Okay, get you, get you. You know, I remember in an earlier episode I was talking about the Donkey Kong Country television show. It'd be kind of interesting if they ever, um, in-game gave Donkey Kong, um, actual voice acting. Like, in a future, um, installment that they gave him voice acting. I'd be pretty interested to see how that would go. Because, like, um, despite the, uh, I guess, questionable rep, you could say, the, um, television show has, um... One thing's for sure, everyone agreed, pretty much, that the person who voiced Donkey Kong, he had an amazing singing voice. Like, he had some really good chops about him. And that's why one reason why the show is, you know, so, you know, I guess, well-known, partially, because, um, it was just a... It had some really good numbers to it. And the sing... And the, some, some of them, I stress, because there were some, um... I guess, questionable boy BA decisions when it came to, um, the singers. But, uh, like I said, Donkey Kong is, I think, pretty universally... Uh, that's not good. Well, actually, no. It's not good, but it's also not terrible, because there's another barrel right here. Okay, so we're gonna come up here to get specifically Dixie. Because we need her to get up here. You probably didn't notice it, but, um, you see these pits, or whatever they're called, is are coming down from something specific. I don't care about taking a hit. But you need to come up here. Um, you can also get that with Cranky Kong. I've done it before. But you have to be really good with your, um, pogo bounce and timing. So that way, because you need to bounce off of, um, the pits as they're in the middle of the air. Okay. Come down here for the end. Get our checkpoint. Okay, now up here we have this ox. No matter what you do, if you try to attack him, he'll um you'll bounce off of him if you try to jump on him, I mean. So what you need to do is make him run into a wall like that, or um roll into him instead. And that will knock him over and then you can bounce on him three times. Now right here is another puzzle piece. So what's going to happen are these bananas are going to fall down inside bubbles. And what you want to do is collect every single one of them. And then eventually a puzzle piece will spawn. Wow, there's another D another Kate partner barrel over there. They were actually very generous with barrels in this stage, which is surprising. Because, like, some of the later stages, they get pretty slim on partner barrels. Even though I would say some of them would make the challenge a lot more bearable. But that's interesting to see. But anyway, let's see. Um, oh, oh, I didn't expect this to happen. And uh, as you can probably guess, 
Puzzle pieces will always spawn. They always have a fixed spawning point, but um, when it comes to other things, like when you collect those bunches of bananas, I... Don't hold me to it, but I'm pretty sure it's random. But there is some favoritism to um stuff you need. So like if you have um if you need hearts, they'll more than likely give you hearts, I think. Like I said, don't hold me to that, but that's what I've noticed at least. And you don't have to worry about getting up there. Time it for the balloon. There we go. And now we're gonna be chased by this giant pit. So, what you want to do to get the last puzzle piece is collect everything here. All the bananas, all the banana coins. Because at the very end of it, you will make the puzzle piece spawn. But first, come down here to get the G. And, oh gosh. Yeah, that pit thing is insta-kill. Wait, can you run off the edge? Oh, wow, I didn't know he could do that. Okay, uh, we'll grab Dixie again. You know, I'm, I am don't know why, but I, well, I guess because their both names will start with D, but I'm always so tempted to call Dixie Diddy. And I mean, I accidentally did that in like one of the earliest episodes of this series, so. Okay, let's do this right this time. Because you need to, like, get the G and then climb up to get the puzzle piece because, um... Well... There that goes. Okay, see, this is what I meant by, um... Rolling into him so that way you can, um... Get the... Knock him over, I mean to say. Go. Luckily, I can keep on getting this one life right here to make up for any losses. Come down here to get the G, climb on up, get that puzzle piece because he's going to knock us over, and you got to hurry because that part will fall as well. But let us get a coin, and there we go. So you see, now that we're at World 3, difficulty's starting to ramp it, not ramp up, but definitely starting to increase a bit more than it was beforehand. But yes, those were the first two levels of Bright Savannah, and in the next episode, we're going to be taking on... Level 3, Frantic Fields. See you guys then.